Welcome to your Tuesday edition of Weather Where You Are. I am Ella. Um, today, today we're talking about a tricky forecast, okay? It's been gorgeous. It's been dry. It's been warm. It's going to continue to stay warm, but we're going to start to enter into a much wetter pattern. And I don't know, there's just, there's a lot of inconsistencies in the models for this weekend. And I know that's what you guys are thinking about. We got 420 Fest this weekend. Um, I know there's like a lot of other outdoor events happening. So, and it's just the time of year, it's spring. You want to spend time outside, right? So I wanted to go ahead and talk to you about the weekend forecast. So let's see here. Kind of want to get in a little bit to today because it's staying a little cloudier later than we thought it would. And there's still just some very light shower activity. I think that's called Virga, which is rain that the radar is picking up on that's not actually reaching the surface. Uh, but it's definitely keeping things pretty cloudy outside. Still cloudy. Um, we haven't warmed up as quickly as we thought. My temperature at noon was 74. It's 72. So I think we'll probably end up in the low 80s today. It's about two degrees, two, three degrees cooler than yesterday. Seven degrees cooler than yesterday over there in Athens. So it is a little bit cooler. We are going to see the clouds burn off this afternoon. I think probably by 1, 2 p.m. those clouds will start to break and we'll end up with partly cloudy skies. Still a warm afternoon with highs in the low 80s, okay? Pollen count. Man, um, the allergy, the Atlanta Allergy Clinic is the one, they are the ones who issue the pollen count every day. I got... I got a, a, a beef with them, okay, because they used to issue the pollen count every day at around 930, so we were able to bring it to you on the morning news. They've been slacking. I don't know if they're sleeping in. I don't know what they're doing over there, but they're not issuing the pollen count um, until afternoon. So I don't have the pollen count for you yet for today, but I can show you the calendar for this month so far. Every single day this month outside of last Wednesday, we've had high or extreme pollen count levels did you feel it yesterday I mean I was whole, like you know when you're that feeling when you're about to sneeze when you feel like you need to sneeze and you're you like you just want to get it out I felt that way all day yesterday until like 4 30 I sneezed once and I was like oh my god I've been waiting for that sneeze all day did you feel it yesterday yeah the pollen count was considered a high count but it was only like 30 below an extreme level 14 29 1500 is considered extreme so it was 70 below um, and those are just the little spores they have like this the way they measure it is they have this really cool like thing that spins and it picks up the poly the molecules of air for a full day and then they count the spores that's literally how they do their pollen count so each day when it's issued, it's for the previous day. You get what I'm saying? So anyways, so this was the pollen count for Sunday because we haven't gotten yesterday's yet. But I can tell you, again, it's just going to stay high. going to stay high through the week because we're not going to see a heck of a lot of rain. It's going to stay warm as well. Pollen season usually ends uh, beginning of May, but... We had a really early pollen season this year, so we might actually see those numbers taper by this time next week. All right, partly cloudy skies this afternoon. We got a cold front that's going to sweep to our north. Most of the energy is to our north. Um, but we are going to see some spotty showers, especially the further north you live tomorrow, 2, 3 p.m. A few of those showers start to move in. So from Rome to Ella J, up into the mountains, Gordon County, Calhoun, Cartersville, Canton, you're going to see scattered rain tomorrow. And a few of those light showers probably going to make it down as far south of as, as Atlanta tomorrow evening. It's not a washout. It's not a reason for a first alert weather day. But just know if you live north of the city, you're driving home from work, picking up the kids from school, you may see some scattered showers, possibly even a few rumbles of thunder. That'll keep temperatures in the 70s there. Elsewhere, temperatures will be in the low 80s, and it will be cloudy through the day tomorrow. So tiny bit of rain tomorrow. But this is this is the difficulty in this forecast is – we're going to see another cold front come through this weekend. The timing of that front is going to play a major role on when it rains and how much it rains. Right now you can see this is the Euro model has the most rain Friday and again on Sunday, but the cold front actually comes through on Saturday. So there's some inconsistencies in what's going to happen this weekend. So I want to show you both of the models. Okay, first of all, here's the long-range Euro model, which is one of the two long-range models we, we look at. One is GFS, one is Euro. And I will tell you right now, the GFS model, which is the one I'm going to show you after this, has done a lot better job recently handling the weather systems that move through. So 
Just take this all with a grain of salt. You can see tomorrow a few spotty showers. Thursday will be dry. Friday we'll see just kind of summer-like thunderstorms. Just some like spotty scattered showers lasting all day. Again, not a washout, but about a 40% chance of rain on Friday. Now the front arrives Saturday. Saturday is trending mainly dry. Both GFS and Euro are trending mainly dry on Saturday, um, which is questionable, okay? Sunday, the front's down to our south, but the Euro model has a wave, pretty big wave of rain moving through. We issued a first alert weather day for Sunday because um, it looks like the best chance of rain, but it's not guaranteed, okay? Our confidence in this weekend's forecast is low. So let me show you the GFS model now. Dry Thursday, again, spotty scattered showers on Friday, so we're high confidence that we're going to see scattered thunderstorms Friday. Saturday, maybe a stray shower. Saturday on GFS model also looks mainly dry. Sunday now looks mainly dry on the GFS. And the main energy at higher levels of the system, which is what I look at, actually doesn't move through until Monday. And the most recent GFS is picking up on that with some showers even lingering into Monday. So, like... <laughs> Friday through Monday, we're in this unsettled weather pattern, but there's not like one day w right now that we're super confident in rain. So this is, this is what I'm thinking right now. And again, if you do have outdoor plans this weekend or something big to do outside, you're going to want to check back in regularly because this is very likely to change. Saturday, 79 degrees. Temperatures will be in the 70s. It'll still be quite mild outside. It will be cloudy. Maybe a few showers. Not a reason to cancel your outdoor plans. We still are going with much cooler conditions by Sunday. Temperatures uh, after that front moves through are going to struggle to reach the low 60s. So it'll be significantly cooler. And rain is likely, but we're still not confident that it will rain all day. We're keeping the first alert weather day, but we're going to be watching that system closely. Okay, so Sunday is the transition day to much cooler weather, as you can see, which takes over for next week. Okay. So this is, this is our in-house model, which is like what the system that we use, it, it has its own data it uses. This is what it's thinking. It's actually trending in a drier direction on Saturday, which is good news. You can see temperatures still in the 70s to even the low 80s on Saturday. Maybe a stray shower, but overall relatively dry. So I would not cancel your outdoor plans for Saturday. Sunday, again, a lot cooler. The in-house model is thinking rain on Sunday, but again, this could change. So it's just something that we're going to have to keep watching. Um, here's what we're going with right now. 30% chance tomorrow, mainly north of the city. That might increase, okay? 30% um, on Friday, 30% on Saturday, 60% on Sunday. I actually... Jen bumped that Friday chances down. I had 40% Friday. We, we are a whole big team. So, like, my forecast, me, Rodney, and Courtney's forecast in the morning, then goes to the PM team. They tweak it. They give it to us. We tweak it. So we're constantly building off of just, you know, what, what we're seeing, and we're constantly talking about it. So it looks like Jen thinks Wednesday and Friday will be a little bit drier um, with that cooler air moving in Sunday and Monday of next week. So, again, a lot up in the air about this weekend. I would definitely plan on some spotty thunderstorms Friday, as early as Friday morning, lasting through the day, not a washout. But you probably see rain at some point. I would plan on mostly dry conditions right now on Saturday. And Sunday, I would not cancel your outdoor plans yet. Know that for sure it's going to be a lot cooler, but the rain chance might decrease and we might end up dropping the first layer weather day. So that is just um, something of note, okay? And just know if you are enjoying these 80s, Take advantage of them because we're talking highs in the 60s and low 70s as we head into next week. Okay, guys, that's my spiel. Um, Jen will be on in about 20 minutes. Land news first at noon, and then we will be back tomorrow. Again, this forecast could change a lot, so check back in. I would love to see you tuning in tomorrow, 6 a.m. If that's too early for you, we are on Peachtree TV, 7 and 8, and back on Atlanta news first at 9. Okay? Have a great day. Get outside. Sun's about to come out. I'm like, 30 minutes. Okay, bye.